Hey guys, it's Kelly and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, pretty freaking exciting because I have two cars with me, a Kia Carnival and a Yukon XL, and we're gonna be doing a little bit of a head-to-head. -head. I'm not gonna be necessarily comparing these two cars, but instead comparing what a full-size SUV gets you versus what a minivan gets you. So if you, are the, so if you are the person who cannot decide which team to be on, kind of like myself, I'm gonna give you the pros and cons of both and we are going to show you how they function for families. If this is your first time joining me, hey, I'm Kelly and I'm the car mom. I review cars for moms and for families. I'm a mom of three and a certified child passenger safety tech. All right, let's get started. Before we get into the nitty gritty, I wanna first talk about the Kia Carnival. If you are wondering my thoughts about the Kia Carnival, good news, I have a whole tour. If you are wondering how a Kia Carnival compares to all the other minivans out there, I've got a killer blog post that breaks down every single detail you need to know. So you can find that there. Same thing with the Yukon XL. I have a full Yukon XL tour on my channel. And if you're wondering, like comparing the Yukon XL to maybe something like the Ford Expedition, I have a blog post on that exact topic. So with that being said, I'm not gonna be getting into the nitty gritty of these vehicles, but instead just focusing on the differences between full size and minivan. Okay, let's start with the most jarring difference between these two vehicles, which is price. So something like a Kia Carnival is gonna start at about $32,000. A Yukon XL isn't even gonna start until 60 and it's gonna to top out at 80. So if you are someone on a budget or someone who wants a lot of space for not a lot of money, new or used minivans are the way to go. I always recommend a used minivan to families trying to fit multiple kids on a tight budget. The full-size SUVs, they're always gonna be a pretty penny. Next, when trying to decide between full-size SUV and minivan, you're gonna to wanna to ask yourself, what does your typical driving actually look like? Because a full-size SUV, let's face it, is a better driving vehicle. Not only can they tow more, for the example between these two cars, a Yukon XL can tow, tow up to 7,300 pounds, Kia Carnival, only 3,500. So you're looking at almost 4,000 pounds more on the Yukon XL. Additionally, a lot of minivans, including the Kia Carnival, do not come in all-wheel drive. Now, there are some exceptions like the Toyota Sienna and now the Chrysler Pacifica is available in all-wheel drive. But what I can tell you is even with an all-wheel drive minivan, you still have such little ground clearance that if you're truly looking for a well-performing vehicle to drive in the snow, it's probably gonna have to be a full-size SUV. But let's talk about parking. Something like the Yukon XL is 25 inches longer than this Kia Carnival. That is two extra feet that you have to park, that you have to fit in your garage, and that can be a little bit more difficult. For example, that Yukon XL does not fit in my garage. Kia Carnival, it does. Now, when it comes to my second and third row comforts for a passenger, they're honestly pretty comparable. I think a lot of people think that a full-size SUV has a lot more headroom and legroom, but actually the Yukon only has about two inches more of legroom in the second row, and the third rows are almost identical. So for older passengers, either one's gonna be comfortable. Now, perhaps the most obvious, sliding doors. The sliding doors are iconic in the minivan, and they make day-to-day -day life so much easier for so many reasons. One, it's easy for kids to open. In these newer minivans, all they have to do is hit a button right here and the door is automatically gonna open. Plus, mom or dad can close it from the key, from up here, from inside of the door. You have a lot of flexibility. Plus, it makes loading kids in and out of car seats easier for two reasons. One, you don't have to worry about someone parking right next to you and you not be able to swing that door open high enough. And also, it's more level, so it's easy to take kids in and out of the car without having to like reach up for something, especially if you're not quite as tall as me. It's also easier for kids to get in because they don't have to climb up. So if you have young kids, the sliding doors kind of smack. Speaking of a lot of kids in car seats, you may be wondering which one's better for car seats, and you probably won't be surprised to know it's a minivan. Minivans have more car seat hardware, they typically have better third row access, and they have quite a few party tricks, which I'll show you in a second. It's not that the Yukon XL is bad for car seats, it's just not as versatile, meaning you can't fit as many seats in as many places. If you're looking for the most car seat friendly full size SUV, I'm gonna give that award to the Ford Expedition. And you can watch my Ford Expedition tour to find out why and how it compares to the Yukon XL. So Yukon XL is not bad for car seats, but a minivan's always gonna have more versatility. So one of the most fun parts about a minivan is its party tricks. And what, I'm at, what I mean by that is the things you can do in the second and third row to make the car more family friendly. This Kia Carnival, for example, has the ability to remove any single one of these second row seats for added third row access, for captain's chairs, for whatever you want. So the way I have this set up for my three kids is I have my two youngest in the second row, and then I have this whole aisle away for my oldest to hop into the third row. Now I can climb in here, I can buckle the other two, I can change a diaper right here, I could sit and have a lunch, I could do whatever I want. I love the party tricks. Every minivan has their own variation of them, 
and you're not gonna find that in any of the full-size SUVs. Let's talk about trunk space. So the difference in trunk space between a Kia Carnival and a Yukon XL is one cubic foot. Even though this vehicle is technically, um, what did I say, 20 inches longer, it's only one cubic foot bigger in the trunk. And that is because cubic feet gets confusing people because it's not this way, but it's this way. It's how many cubic feet of water could you fit in the trunk if you were to do that, which is difficult when you're trying to think about what can fit where. So depending on what cargo you're actually going to carry around may affect which trunk space would be better for you. And I wanna show you what I mean. Let's start with the minivan, the Kia Carnival. Minivan trunks historically aren't the widest, but they are the deepest. I mean, check this out. This is a Mockingbird stroller. It fits in here very nicely, and I still have a ton of room over here for groceries. Here we have a Yukon XL trunk with that same Mockingbird stroller, 41 cubic feet, and it just fits different. They both fit nicely, but if you had a lot of things that maybe couldn't be stacked on top of each other, this might be the better option for you. If you're okay with a deep trunk where things kind of fit in and stack on top of each other, the minivan could be a good option. But it's just so interesting to think about the fact that this car is 20 inches longer, the legroom's similar, the trunk space is similar, and it doesn't have that much more than a carnival, even though it's 20 inches shorter. Interesting. Let's talk about miles per gallon, because that's going to be point a minivan. In this Yukon XL, you're looking at about 16 miles per gallon combined compared to the Kia Carnival, which is closer to 22 miles combined. So neither one's great, but it is a big three-row SUV, no matter three-row vehicle, no matter which one you're getting. Um, but Carnival's definitely better. So those are some of the differences between a full-size SUV and a minivan. But one thing we didn't mention was the look, because you guys, no matter which way you slice it, even with something as good looking as the Kia Carnival, it's a good looking minivan, it's an ugly SUV, and I'm always gonna think that the SUVs are better looking, have a better exterior design, and I just like how they drive better. So don't make me choose, I'm still feeling like I'm torn in the middle. I think for this phase of my life, I am enjoying the sliding doors and the ease of access, but when I get in this vehicle, I'm telling you, I feel like myself, my personality changes. So to sum up, I can't really pick. So let me know in your comments below. Let me know if I missed anything in this great debate of a comparison, and I will see you guys next time.